Okay guys, another quick unscripted video on the Pico New Free Link. What I found on the majority of games are fine with these Pico controller models now they've changed in Steam VR. Um, there are, are a few instances where you probably need to change back to the Oculus or Vive ones through the driver file, which is obviously within your install directory, um, just in the Pico Link driver bin Win64 RVR plugin any. Changing the actual controller type model here to one or two, changes it to an Oculus or Vive, freeze the Pico. Um, you do need to say you need access um, as admins. So you need to go into your properties and um, give yourself full access to the file. So when you save it, it actually keeps the changes. But basically, I've been needing to do that for a few games that have a, a bit of a, a wonky sort of button mapping, um, especially stuff like the uh, Saints and Sinners. Um, the Walking Dead game that, that seems to need the Oculus um, version just to actually work at all. Um, but in games like Boneworks and Veil that I've just found here, I've only just been invited to this, um, the arms are too long. And it's, it's I, I have no idea what causes it. I think it's a runtime problem um, because it's not Pico to blame as such. Because I, I know Virtual Desktop, when I used to use this on Oculus Quest, had, this, had the issue early on with Boneworks. Um, it has been fixed since. So I've, I've, I asked Guy Godin, obviously, what he's done. Um, he, he basically just come back and said Boneworks just doesn't work with um, custom open VR drivers um, like AOVR and all the other clones um, so basically there's not much I can do to fix my end because I'm not a developer um, but there is obviously some some tweaks I can do um, so in, in this Veil game obviously with the arms being too long I'll show you what the example is and what I've ended up with um, so I believe this one is the one that I've started with my controllers are both vertically in front of me, sort of elbows bent, just holding up in front of my face um, with the tracking rings vertically on top and both together. So basically like a like I'm just holding my hands together. Um, this right arm is basically where it is um, as you start off. So it's way too long. And obviously the wrist pivot is completely beyond the controller. So it just feels completely jarring to try and play like this. Um, Boneworks is pretty much unplayable. Uh, that's exactly the same problem. Um, Someone's obviously mentioned me today, obviously I've only just been invited to this game, but someone mentioned that this has got the same problem. So I've been having a little play, I've managed to get from this point here to this point. So my hand, the tracking ring is still, this isn't absolutely perfect, um, because again, I haven't done the, the whole offsets yet. But what I've managed to get this to, to do is basically act as the wrist, um, the actual wrist pivot as well. It feels quite, feels quite good, but the problem I've got with this game... I don't know whether it's the, the way the animations are, but when you go to reload and sort of chock your gun sort of thing, I don't know the correct terms because I'm not a gun person, but when you actually pull the barrel back, um, the, the the sort of grip point for your fingers is more near your wrist. And that's probably something I can still mess around with and change, but just getting the hands back to here in sort of the right place is a hell of a lot more playable. Um, so what I'll cover is basically how I've managed to do this. So in... Steam VR controller bindings again. Um, I've read about obviously the Unity guys having a bit of problem with their poses, um, especially like the base tip. There's different ways you you develop games to use like a, a laser pointer uses a tip pose and grabable objects use the um, the sort of grab grab pose all the rest of it. So I've had a little play with the poses. Um, and what you start off with is left hand and right hand on the rows. That's the values that you're going to have for the left controller right controller pose. Um, I've gone through these just changing the left hand first obviously um, ignore this right hand grip I'll explain why that's there but the left hand base is I presume this actual bottom base of the controller here because the way the bone works arms at the minute the, the wrist is all the way out here um, but when I change, the, change this to left hand base what tends to happen is from this point it completely 180s so this tracking ring would be down here so your hand's completely backwards so not entirely usable with that um, I've gone through all of these this right hand grip, um, presumably putting it from here, so rather than it be all the way out here, so it comes to about this point here, and I can show you that in the screenshots here. So it, it change, changes it from this right hand, right hand where you start, down to down to the right hand where it is now, but the actual wrist rotation is still beyond your controller, which just feels it still feels odd. It's a little bit, it's a hell of a lot better, um, but it still feels odd. So to get to that left point here, what I've actually found. Um, so I sort of thought, well, why is the Steam VR left hand pose 180 degrees? Um, and what can I do about that? So having a, having a think is like, I've, I've previously messed around with the actual Pico driver file. Um, 
Oh, if I go back into my actual location, wherever the hell that is, oh, I might as well explain how to get to this anyway. So what I, what I need to do is I need to get into the driver files of the, the Pico Link app. So I'm just going to right click, open file location. That brings me to the install directory. And then within the driver, normally you go into the, the bin for the actual uh, plugin. You need to change your controller models. But in my case, where I've been messing around with this before, I know the render models are here because I've changed the, the actual um, Steam VR sort of cosmetics. So I've made the, the white controllers black or gray just to get a bit of a god raise out of the controllers in Steam, Steam Home VR environment. So um, all of these are the actual sort of objects and uh, skins. So I'm ignoring that. The JSON file is what I'm interested in. So within the JSON file, you've got all of these axes, all pivot points, all the rest of it for triggers, joystick. If you change one of these, it's probably going to mess up everything. So what I ended up doing is thinking, well, if I just have a scroll for this, see what I can change. Um, thankfully, I've got tip, body, base. And I know from reading the actual guys having Unity problems um, that these poses are obviously where, where they need to change, like grip pose, aim pose, and then stuff with the tips. So on the actual file here, this base what currently I had 180 degrees. By default, this this file has this base value, the rotate X, Y, Z axis. It has 180.0, and that's why the handle's backwards. So what I've done is basically just delete the minus 180 um, and put zero. So it's 0, 0.0 between these commas now. Um, I'm not entirely sure how it affects every other game leaving this file as it is. I've not gone back and tested that. Um, but I don't believe um, Steam VR should be binding it to that, that base anyway. So once that file's changed, um, you're going to need to reset your, your Pico Link software, just close it down, save save this file, make sure it's saved. Um, go back into the Pico Link software, fire up Steam VR, and then if you haven't already done so, what you can do is map that the base, left hand base, right hand base, map that to controller pose now, and that will bring you basically to the point where that left hand is. Um, and because the base, the actual wrist rotation feels a lot better because it's more closer to your hand. It's not perfect by any means, I'm not saying it is, um, but from starting from here, it's a, it's a complete game changer basically. Um, even this midpoint, the first change I'd done, didn't feel, didn't feel perfect, you can see why, because it's still way too high and then way too long. So to get to this point, that is a nice simple fix. Um, I haven't got any gameplay to show you, but it's basically, it's, it's made this game sort of playable, apart from the issue I've got where you grab the sort of the, the chocks or whatever the hell the gun things are called for reloading. Um, bring those bring those back to reload. It still feels like your, your action for the grip button, or the, at least in this game, feels like it's still on your wrist. So it's not quite in your hand, it feels like it's on your wrist, but just having your hands um, not going way beyond the gun um, compared to relative where your actual real life hand is, um, it makes a huge difference. So that's a nice quick fix for this. Um, I've not gone too far into it, like I said, messing with any of the actual origin files. So I know Pico actually need to fix the display port um, Steam VR controller position. The wireless seems fine. I'm not sure why, because it's using the same driver file, but the display port um, feels a bit too far, like inwards from where your hands are relative in real life. Um, so I've not messed around with any of these yet, but a nice basic fix to get that that arm length a lot shorter is just to change your base, take the 180 degree value out, and then when you need to map the Steam VR controller bindings, when you map your pose and left and right hand, mapping them to the controller pose on the hand base, it brings your arms just way shorter. So it's worth giving a go, especially if you've got issues with, issues with bone works. So I'm going to give that a go myself tonight. Um, but I would make a backup of that file or at least remember what you're changing because I'm not sure how this is going to affect any games that normally work because, again, it's, it's in my case, it's only Boneworks and Veil Alpha at the minute that are having this problem. So, um, yeah, just a nice quick fix. Um, sorry, it's a bit convoluted. I've, I've not scripted this. Just wanted to cover what I've got here because I know it helped a few people. Um, and, yeah, just let me know how you get on. If anyone else is doing some tinkering, they can manage to fix this. By all means, share share the changes you do because I'm quite interested without obviously spending a few hours doing this myself. So, yeah, let me know how you get on and hope that helps. Cheers, guys.